Okay, should you really build a business around your passion? Should you really build a business around that thing you love to do? That thing you hold sacred, your outlet, your release, that hobby, whatever that might be. Should you, should you turn it into a business? Should you try and monetize it? A lot of people will say no. They say, it doesn't matter if you're passionate about something, you just need to support yourself, so go do the boring work and start the boring thing, and then in your free time, you can do whatever it is you'd like to do. That's not what this video is about. Today, I'm giving you 10 reasons I think you should build a business around your passion, around your hobby, because that's what I've been doing for over 10 years now. Uh, it's not all perfect. I've got a video right here about five reasons you should not do it. You should think twice about it. I highly recommend you watch that video as well. But today, I'm giving you all the reasons that starting a business around things I love to do has been, well, phenomenal. So if you wanna be pushed over the edge, if you want someone to say, just do it already, then this video is for you. Let's go. Okay, first things first, let's talk about something tactical, and that is, it's going to help you to build relevant skills. In this video, let's assume the type of passion business I am talking about is some sort of content-based business. So a blog, maybe it's a YouTube channel, something on social media, because that's what I've done, that's what I'm familiar with, so that's what we're going to be talking about here. So. No matter what you do online, having a set of useful skills is going to be relevant. And so when you create, let's say, a blog around that thing you love to do, you're now going to have a sandbox. You're going to have a place to learn and apply all of these useful skills. So things like how to write a blog post, the basics of design, how to set up a website, how to edit your photos to make them look good, copywriting, SEO, all of these things are skills that are gonna be relevant to know kind of no matter what you do online or in your career, but if you don't have a way to actually practice them, then you're not going to get very far. And so when you set up a website devoted to this new hobby or passion, regardless of where it goes or how successful it is, you now have a way to learn all of these skills, to get hands-on, to practice them, and that is going to serve you well no matter what you do. All right, second reason to build a business around something you love is it's gonna help you connect with like-minded people. Let's say you go to a bar. What are the odds the person sitting next to you has all of the exact same interests and hobbies as you? Probably not going to happen all that often. Well, all of a sudden, let's say you've got a brand, let's say you've got a blog, people start finding you because of the thing you're talking about. So for me, I've got a golf website. So all of a sudden, instead of me having to go seek out golfers and people that are passionate about golf, I've got people coming to me. They're sending me emails. They're commenting on my socials. They're watching my videos. They're inviting me to their home courses. They're asking for my opinion on different golf products. So now all of a sudden, I've got this community of people that I would not have had otherwise that I'm not having to really do any work to find because they are all coming to me. And once you've got that community, even if it starts on the internet, it is amazing these days how many of those people turn into real friends, real connections, and it has just enriched my life in so many ways. One more fun example for this is it was 2013 and I took a short notice trip to Bangkok. And so I put something out to my email list. I said, hey, I'm gonna be at this bar at 7 p.m. on Tuesday night. Anyone that's in town, I would love to see you. 20 people showed up to that random bar in Bangkok on less than 24 hours notice. That is the power of community. That is the power of building something around a topic that you love. So 20 people that I never would have met otherwise came out and we talked about travel, we talked about entrepreneurship. And the fun thing about that was is about half of those people were Location Rebel Academy members that were either living in Bangkok or traveling around Bangkok. And so because I'd cultivated this online community, all of a sudden I had friends and I had people to see in just about every city I went to. And it's gonna be that way for pretty much the rest of my life, and that's pretty cool. Three, by building a brand around something you love, you become recognized as an expert in that topic. And by being recognized as an expert around a certain topic, that opens up a lot of doors that you might not have otherwise. And so sometimes the best way to get credibility is just to put yourself out there. So I'm really into golf, but if I'm just some random like dude that golfs, like no one's gonna take my opinion seriously. But if all of a sudden I start publishing reviews of the courses I've played, reviews of the products that I've used, then people are gonna look at that and be like, oh, this guy clearly knows his stuff. I'm going to trust him. And when people trust you, that opens up a lot of opportunities for your business. All right, fourth reason, pretty obvious one. Get paid to do the thing you love. Now, there's going to be a lot of things that are associated with doing that thing that in some cases might be a little bit boring, they might be a little bit inconvenient, but by and large, for instance, with my golf website, usually when I'm golfing, I'm getting paid to do it in one way or another. It's not like it's directly, hey, if you go play this golf course, we're gonna pay you 500 bucks, but I'm probably reviewing a product when I'm on the course, or maybe I'm taking photos for social media, or maybe I'm taking photos for a review of that course, and then if I've got display ads on that review, 
you, then every time someone comes and looks at it, I'm making money. Or every time someone clicks on my affiliate link and buys that product I'm reviewing, I'm gonna make some money. So honestly, in its simplest form, that's one of the best reasons to get started doing this because you can get paid to do it. All right, five, not only can you get paid to do it, you can turn it into a write-off as well. One of the biggest reasons I decided to start breaking 80 in the first place was so I could get some free golf and I could write off my golf expenses. Now, so much of my travel and so much of my golf expenses are a write-off because it is a legit business. Unfortunately, I still can't write off my golf club membership, which I'm very annoyed about, uh, but the IRS specifically says you cannot write off club memberships. So here we go. But things like travel, hotels, golf supplies, balls, all of those things I can write off as a result of my golf business. Okay, next reason to consider building a business around your passion is because you are building an asset for yourself. So every single blog post you write, every single piece of content you put out there, all of that is building an asset. And over time, as that asset grows, that is something that you could potentially sell. Over the course of the last year or so, I've had multiple offers to buy Breaking 80 for over $1 million. Can we talk about that for a second? I've been working on this blog for like 10 years, mostly doing it because of all the reasons we're talking about here. I've built some skills, I've built some community, I get paid to golf, it's a write-off, it's all sorts of great things. And then in the end, if you kind of say, you know what, I'm done with golf, I'm sick of this, I'm over it, I'm gonna sell it. Someone's like, cool, here's a million dollars for uh, your website. Now, obviously, it takes a ton of work to get to that point. This is something that doesn't happen overnight, but knowing that you're building an asset, you're building something that you could potentially sell down the future, that could be your retirement right there. That is enough motivation for me to want to continue working on it and making it as good as possible. So just something to consider because that's definitely a big benefit when you compare it to something like freelance writing, which is a business you're probably not going to be able to sell in the future. Okay, this next one, I don't wanna go into too much detail, but just know you can get a ton of free stuff and a ton of amazing opportunities as your business grows. I mean, for instance, our honeymoon to the Maldives was practically free because we went to the only golf resort in the entire country. Uh, I get free products sent to me every week to review on the site. So there are so many opportunities for these like fringe benefits. It's kind of like getting the, the keys to the castle. It's like, here's like the inside scoop into your industry. And so if you really spend time to create content and create stuff that is going to be valuable to your readers and you build trust and you build your authority, you're going to have so many amazing things come your way that you simply would never be able to experience were it not for doing so. All right, we're getting down to the last couple here. And a really big one is you can work from anywhere. I can run my golf business from anywhere. I can run my cocktail business from anywhere. I can run Location Rebel from wherever I want. I am literally going to Australia for a month we leave in two weeks. I'm going with my wife and daughter. We are taking a road trip from Sydney to Melbourne. We're going to Tasmania. And guess what? I can still do all of that stuff. I can go play golf courses in Australia. I can talk about travel and entrepreneurship from down under. I can do all of these things. That has been the crux of what I've talked about here at Location Rebel. And that is truly one of the biggest benefits to having a business around something you love is in most cases, you can do it from anywhere you want. Now, if the thing you love is reviewing home theater equipment, then obviously that's a little bit more difficult. But it's not like you have a job where you are tied down. You can take your business wherever you want to go. And as more and more people are working remotely, as more and more people are starting to travel again, that is a huge reason to consider building a business around something you love to do. Okay, next up, two words. Let's keep it simple, passive income. We talked earlier about making money, we've talked about the benefits, we've talked about the tax write-off, but specifically, let's talk about passive income. Because over time, if you build a business, you build a brand around something you love, you can make passive income, whether it's through display advertisements, whether it's through sponsored posts, whether it's through affiliate sales, whether it's through creating your own course or your own membership community, there are all sorts of ways you can leverage that to make passive income. So last year in 2022, I averaged well over $1,000 a day from income sources that were completely passive. Not to say that's not a lot of work. You got to put in a lot of work up front and it's a continual grind to continue creating new content. But if at any point I wanted to stop and let's say I want to do nothing for a month, there is still going to be considerable amounts of income coming in. So passive income is kind of this holy grail that everyone's after and it can take a long time to get to that point. But once you do, it is well worth it.
So that to me, that's one of the biggest reasons I'd consider building a business around something you love. And finally, the very last one, and this maybe should have been first because I can't imagine my life if it were not for this one thing, and that is you get to be your own boss. You get to make the hours, you get to decide when you wanna work, you get to decide what type of content you're gonna create, you get to decide it all. And there's a good chance right now you still are in your day job, you still have a boss, but that's the great thing about this type of business is you can start it in your free time. You can start it small, don't worry about making money right away, just create good content and try and be useful and helpful and entertaining for other people, and you're gonna be surprised where things go. Because all of a sudden you might wake up and be like, Oh man, this little like side project, this thing I was doing a couple hours a week in my free time, all of a sudden it's making real money and it can support myself. And then you might be able to leave your job and then you truly will be your own boss and you will be able to do whatever you wanna do whenever you wanna do. And that to me is the most important thing at all. That is far more important than the money, being able to have your time and do the things that you wanna do when you wanna do them. That's the whole reason that I've been doing this for 10, 15 years. And that's the whole reason Location Rebel exists is to help other people do exactly that. So there you go. That was a much longer video than I thought it was going to be. But honestly, I think there's a lot of benefits and there's a lot of really good reasons to build a business around that thing that you love to do. It's not all perfect. Go watch the video below about the five reasons not to do it. But uh, if you're on the fence, honestly, there's not a whole lot of harm in getting started, especially if it's a blog, if it's a content-based business. Really, the only thing you have to you know, lose is a couple bucks for your domain and your hosting account and your time. And the potential for where it could go in the future far outweighs that risk in my mind. With that, my name is Sean Ogle. I'm the founder of this thing here at Location Rebel, where we teach you how to make money with your words. If that sounds interesting to you, hit the subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up if you got some value out of it, and go to locationrebel.com slash hi to get on our email list. You're gonna get our free six-day course, our freelance writer's guide. It's gonna help you get up and running with your own online business as quickly as possible. So I hope you have an excellent day and make sure to go watch that video about the five reasons not to start a passion-based business so that you get the full picture. I hope you have an excellent day and we'll see you on the next video.